The London Underground boss tells us his plan to fix Sydney's trains. Construction of the South West Rail Link has reached the halfway point. The six kilometre section of track between Glenfield and Leppington is now complete. But work on the stations at Leppington and Edmondson Park is ongoing. All well and good, but City Rail is due for a shake-up and we all hope it arrives with its new boss, Howard Collins. He's the man who kept the trains on time during the London Olympics and soon he'll be running the platforms in Sydney. The London Underground, a transport network the city depends on and used by more than one billion people each year. And it's a model for change that's coming to Sydney Rail. If I look at the ticketing system that you know, Sydney has, it is 25 years ago for us. Howard Collins has spent most of his life working with England's public transport. He knows what works. He says Sydney needs clearer station signage, similar to London's iconic underground symbol. He wants to press on with the Opal electronic ticketing cards based on London's Oyster card, which are already being trialled. And down the track, new rail lines carrying faster trains that come more often. We do need to invest in both infrastructure and capacity of the existing network. The Londoner will have a huge challenge in Sydney. In the last few weeks, there have been breakdowns, cable fires and close to an entire network shut down caused by one fire alarm. It's an absolute disgrace. This is just insane. The underground is so important to the city of London that it's impossible to imagine the city functioning without it. Most of the people who live here use this rail system. And so Howard Collins believes that Sydney's rail network can have a similar positive effect on the lives of Sydney siders. The new boss is under no illusions. He knows it'll be tough to change people's travel habits, but if it's done right, Sydney will have a world-class rail network to complement its status as a world-class city. Peter Stefanovic, Nine News, London.